team after uh, halftime? I thought the guys played better in the second half, and, and uh, I thought Furman played good in the second half. They, they got a good football team, and uh, you know, I told our guys all week, just don't expect to see a team that's going to roll over for you because you beat them badly last year. That doesn't happen very often in the, in the Furman-Georgia Southern rivalry. And, uh, and they didn't. I think they got a good team. That back they have is good. That quarterback wouldn't give up a sack. He kept getting rid of the ball. Uh, a lot of underneath routes where they gained, gained a lot of yards. And that, we, we just weren't getting them down on the ground. We weren't playing them tight enough. We weren't running the ball very effectively in the first half. Better in the second half. But you know, still, I, I thought they did a nice job. Bruce knows this offense. And, and he understands how to defend this offense. And uh, over the years, I mean, he was on his staff under Bobby Johnson when I was here under Paul Johnson. And they defended us as well as anybody we played. And uh, so they got a good plan. We were fortunate to win a football game. With adjustments at halftime more mental or more you know, X's and O's? It seemed like you threw the ball effectively. Oh, we did a, a few different things in the second half based on what they were doing uh, defensively. Like I said, I give them credit. They were, they were playing really well on defense. And, uh, and we did a, a few more things. We got in the shotgun a little bit more. Um, you know, didn't run a whole bunch of different plays, but you know, we got after those guys pretty good in there at halftime, and they deserved it. They weren't playing very good. We weren't as focused and, and intense as we needed to be. And uh, I said, you know, we had a really physical, intense ball game last year, or last week, excuse me, against Watford. And to come back, you got to do it again. And uh, you know, it, it's difficult to get a team to do that. I thought we did that better in the second half, and, and that probably made a, made a difference. We got the, the benefit of a turnover when they fumbled the snap, and, uh, and Dion picked it up to set up a score. That was very fortunate for us to, to be able to stretch the lead a little bit. How about the passing game? I thought you didn't want to pass. You told me the passing game was dead at Georgia you Southern. You told me that you didn't want to pass. Well, I didn't want you to get bored, Don. <laughs> You're, you're gonna open up with a pass. Yeah, you know. I mean, you gotta mix it up sometimes. <laughs> what do you eat on Wednesday nights? Hamburger and fries. Sometimes you gotta get. You sometimes you gotta get a pork chop. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You know, I mean, we just we're gonna call whatever we need to to think what, what we think we need to do to win a football game. I mean, there's no plan going in that we're gonna throw it at all, much less you know throw it this many times or you know, we want to run the ball and and. They were doing a really good job of stopping the run. We weren't doing a very good job blocking them on the perimeter. And when they're running through you, we're getting the ball tossed out there, and the edge is knocked down. We can't get the blocks on the perimeter. you got to do something. They're running through your headgear, making a tackle on the back two yards deep in the backfield, and we needed to try to soften them up a little bit, and that's what play action pass does. And that's the only reason we throw those. How about the play that Walker made and making it to Walker? It was a good throw. I thought he overthrew him. I said on the headphones, ah, dang it, he overthrew him. But he, uh, he Walk went and got it, and, and uh, it was a nice play. How big a momentum uh, turnaround was that? Uh, I, think, I think those big plays are, are, are momentum you know, gainers for your team, and certainly for other teams, too, when they do it against us. And uh, I thought we got a, a good boost there, and, and uh, you know, it was a, it was a three-play drive. And again, we're, was it a one-play drive? Oh, we had another three-play drive, didn't we? JB there you go. Well, there you have it. You know, some short drives and we're not running the ball and you're having to slug it out for every yard. I mean, we went forward on fourth down to start the, I believe, to start the third quarter. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we went three, three downs and we had that far to go. And I'm like, we got four possessions in the first half. If we get four possessions this half, we're going to be in trouble if we don't convert some of these and score. So, you know, we, we, were, we, had, we really had to work for those run yards. And again, that credit goes to to firm and uh, fortunately we hit the passes. Yep. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm, I wanted to score the touchdown, and the two-point conversion. I know that I know that 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 you know initially that probably upset uh, you know Coach Fowler and the, and the folks from Furman. That that not at all was that malicious. That my intent was not. And, you know, I didn't look carefully and see that there's 20 seconds to go and try to calculate it on my head. Okay, what's the chances of them, if we kick the ball off, them scoring, onside kicking, uh, scoring again. You know, I thought if we kick the extra point and they block it, they're going to return it for two points and it's going to be a 17-point game. Okay, 
no time's going to run off the clock here while we're in the extra point. Is there a chance they could win the game? Well, you know, by going for two, I know that they've got to score three touchdowns. And, and that's the only reason I did it. I was just trying to coach the game until the end. And, you know, they had onside kicked the, 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 the series before after they scored. And, uh, and I, you know, certainly they're going to onside kick if they score. And I just didn't want it to be close. And it not at all was that malicious. I think Bruce Fowler is an outstanding football coach. I've got a tremendous amount of respect for him and for the, the job he's done in his career. We played him in Navy when he was at Vanderbilt. He's done a great job with this team. They got a good, tough football team, and this is a great rivalry. And I would never try to put a black mark on this rivalry by, by trying to run with the score on them or anybody. But, you know, we had a tough fought football game. They were beating us in the first half, beating, beating the pants off of us. We went in that locker room, and I mean, I said, they got a good football team, and if we don't get it going, they're going to beat our butts. And, you know, we got a lot of season left, and our guys need to have things that help their momentum and, and, and help their confidence. And, you know, I'm going to coach them all the way to the end as hard as I can. And I come from a coaching family, and I never saw my dad ever try to embarrass anybody or run the score up on anybody. And, and I would never do that either. I don't want to do that. That's... That's not Georgia Southern style. And, you know, that, that Irk never did that. Tim didn't do that. Paul didn't do that. All the, all the guys I learned from wouldn't do that, and I'm not going to do that. But I felt like we needed to win. And, you know, I probably could have carefully calculated at that point 20 seconds their chances of scoring, you know, two touchdowns and a field goal isn't very good. But, you know, I did the thing I thought was best for our football team and, and took the two-point conversion. But, you know, hey, We've been on the other end of that, and you can analyze it all you want. You know, last year when we were at Alabama, they weren't going to lose the game. They threw a pass with how many seconds to go in the game and scored a touchdown on us. You know what? That didn't make me feel bad. He's got to coach his team. i got to coach mine. Just like I'm going to coach my team, Bruce going to coach his. And, and it's, you know, it wasn't maliciously intended at all. I would never do that to Bruce. I think too much of him as a, as a person. What did he say afterwards? Oh, he, you know, he just said, hey, coach, no. He just, I, I think. Some of the kids were upset, you know, and, and it's a big rivalry. There's a lot of emotion in this game. And when you lose and you're on the losing end of it, and I've been on the losing end of this Furman rivalry a couple times, and it's no fun. And it, it, it's just really hard to hold your emotions in. And when you feel bad and, you, and you're mad and something happens like that at the end and maybe they felt like we were trying to run it up or the kids kind of worked up in their mind that that might have been what happened they got upset and he came over just to say to me Jeff you know I, I want to end this on, right here I don't want our kids to, to say anything that was you know that was out of line or and I said Bruce that's not what it's about and I said I, I told him I apologized if he felt like we were running up it certainly wasn't my intent and I hope he knows that's sincere I would never ever do that to anybody, anybody, certainly not Bruce Fowler. He's an outstanding coach. They got a great football team and a great program.